in Marina del Rey, California, one of the most proficient grapplers in the world is training with single-minded purpose. Fabricio Verdum, the three-time Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu world champion, begins his day as he begins most days with a quick protein shake. He knows his first training session will be intense and doesn't want to weigh himself down with a heavy meal first thing in the morning. Entrevista, falo sobre academia, faço tudo na academia, no esse, esse tempo morto que eu tenho dentro. On the drive to his first training session of the day, Fabricio conducts a phone interview with a writer for an MMA magazine. Always on the go, always working, Verdum is all too aware that he has come late to this game and may not have much time left to leave his mark. I'm start uh, too late. I'm start to 20 years old. Yes. Now is my moment. Combining his jiu-jitsu specialty with judo and Muay Thai has not been an easy task for the 36-year-old athlete, but it has taken him to several continents and now to the brink of fulfilling his dream. Fabricio is currently number two in the official UFC heavyweight rankings, but as it is with any true warrior, second will never be good enough. At Alliance Jiu-Jitsu, the work begins on an intimate scale with some very personalized instruction from both Kenny Johnson and Rubens Charles, also known as Cobrina, both experts in their disciplines. When I started working with him, you know, right away his, his work ethic and, and what he wanted to learn, he was very serious about taking his career to the next level and he, was very, he, he embraced the wrestling a lot, not just um, you know, hey, I want to see some wrestling moves, okay, thanks, bye. I mean, he started basically took put his ego at the door, came in and started learning wrestling from the basics and took his beating like a man because he had good training partners that were bigger than him and had some wrestling and, and you know he had to, we, he would just practice and practice and practice and not in a comfort zone, he was way outside of a comfort zone and you could tell by his next, his very first fight after that, Russo and then uh, you know through on the next fights after that you could see his wrestling really come up. Verdun, he's, uh, he's a world champion as well in Jiu-Jitsu. He would not need me, right? But he's so humble, he did one, one private lesson with me, and he said, yeah, that's what I need. All I'm doing with him is just remind him, because he knows Jiu-Jitsu already, right? But what I do with him, I make him drill like, you know, two hours, you know, but drill over and over and over, because the first time he came here, he said, Gobrinha, we, got, we are going to drill that much? I said, no, don't worry, just do what I'm telling you and then we'll be fine. You know, he's got the best of the best and we all have the same mentality as far as training. We have the same goals for ourselves and each other is to be the best and, and to learn from each other and work as a team. It's not just like, oh, you have to train wrestling only. You know, I can't believe you're doing this because there's a lot of coaches that if they're the, the Muay Thai coach, it's only this. If they're the boxing coach, it's only that. But, you know, Fabricio has a team of people around him, I think, that really care about him, took his style into consideration. We talk with each other and see how we can coach, you know, together and mix these styles that are best for him. And, and he's absorbing it. He's moving like, you know, I move because I'm, uh, I'm 154 and he's 250 pounds and he's moving like me, which is beautiful. He's a big guy. There's not that many big guys that big that can hang. There are but a few people that can deal with that size and strength and, that, and how athletic and how strong he is. Everybody, everybody, everybody likes to sparring with him. He's just 250 pounds. Uh, everybody over here is light. Some people you know he's big guys, but they love to train with him just because you know the, the, the ability he has. He won't hurt anybody. After an hour or two of drills and sparring, there's only time for a quick post-workout drink. And then we're off to meet Fabricio's wife and daughter for a well-deserved lunch.
Meeting your family for lunch might not seem like such a luxury, but for Fabricio, it was one of the reasons he moved to the United States. I'm living here in USA for two things. I'm here for my family and for my, my training, professional training. Because in Brazil, I have Rafael Cordeiro before he coming from here. But just in Curitiba, my, my city is Porto Alegre, South Brazil. The difference in the car is like eight hours. I just trained in Curitiba Monday to Friday with Rafael. Saturday, Sunday, I just co I come back to my home, but not in the F car, like a flight, how say yes. flight? Yes. I just stayed two days with my family, and five days with the trainer with the guys. It's very difficult. I mean, stay like that uh, two years. After he lost against Cigano, he changed completely as a professional. Mm -hmm. Julia was like a baby. She, she was a baby at that, time, at that point. And he was not happy with me. I was not, not happy either. And uh, I, think, I think that loss, it was very good. Very good for everybody, for our family. Because make him to realize everything. The power of the family, the power of the, the hard train, and be more mature. I think he, he grew up so, so much when he, and that lost. And uh, I believe that we grow much more when you lost than when we win. After lunch, we head to Fabricio's MMA gym to check in on some of his students. Fabricio knows that an athlete's time in this physically demanding discipline is limited, and his plan for the future is to become a commentator slash ambassador for the sport as well as establishing his own chain of mixed martial arts schools throughout Europe, and now here in this narrow storefront in Venice, California. It's very small gym, but I have it in USA, I have it in Europe, in Madrid, Zaragoza, in France, I have a lot of different countries. I have a big name in Europe. I can stay there long time, I stay there like 10 years in, in Europe. First of all, he's the, the nicest guy, you know, the gentle giant, you know, obviously when he's fighting, he's dead serious and his level of skill and expertise and knowledge that he brings to the school and to the mat is, you know, is unparalleled. It's, it's an honor and it's a pleasure um, just being involved in his school. Oh, it's amazing. Uh, he's a great instructor, great technique. I mean, it's, there's nothing more you could say, but amazing. I worry about health for sure. I worry about future for sure, and I'm we are always like talking about this and creating. He's like uh, creating another careers by side of MMA. That's very important for for me also and for him. But he always keep his healthy very good also. So he has the MHP support like all, all the, the products to support his health like inside and uh, outside he has like massage therapies, like chiropractic, like, so he has a bunch of people who work with him to take care of it. So I'm like very secure on this. I'm never afraid to something like, oh, he gonna go to fight and I never afraid he like, oh, he gonna broke something, never. I don't know why, but I, I, I know that he's strong enough to be there and do his best and he knows his limit also. So I'm not afraid of something that happens in the fight, I'm not. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm training with my coach, Rafael Cordeiro. Rafael Cordeiro is, uh, is the best coach in the world in MMA training. Punches, kicks, everything. Jiu-Jitsu, wrestling, everything together. Yeah. Almost, almost. King's MMA in Huntington Beach is where all of Fabricio's training comes together. Less than an hour's drive from Marina del Rey, King's is the West Coast Mecca for MMA, and people come from all over the world to spend a few precious hours under Rafael's critical gaze. From the start, Verdum takes his place among the novice and intermediate fighters. There's no special treatment here. Calisthenics and cardio give way to hours of exhausting, repetitive drilling of upper body, then lower body moves. It 
is this blending and coordination of the various fighting disciplines and his attention to detail that is Cordero's forte and the reason why his expertise is prized by the best in the sport. end of the long sweaty workout, Cordero leads a group affirmation that is somewhere between a prayer session and a pep rally. gonna fight for the belt. And you're gonna help to do them. Like I said before, his dream is my dream. His dream is our dream. Family. Family dream. So when he when the referee lifts his hands, gonna lift our hands. Everybody. And you know, all for God. Because he work hard for them. Like I say, uh, he, he worked for one for uh, all uh, for all his life for this moment. He not start right now. Ah, let's try let me see what I can do. No, no. He's professional for years. And now God gave him a great gift. He wanna fight for us. You know, he wanna represent us there and uh, we need you. You guys sweat over here, put pressure over here, because this victor is our victor. In all experience that I have in my life, I just can say, family is the best thing, is the best thing you need to take care of. This is the most important thing, take care of your family. This is my family. One, two, three, victory. One, two, three, victory! Hey, thank you, guys. Back home in Marina del Rey, there is just enough time for some quality daddy-daughter time before Julia has to go to bed. But it's also time to review fight footage and plan for the next day's training. In his free time, Fabricio will watch dozens of videos of his and his opponent's fights over and over, maybe hundreds of times, looking for strengths and weaknesses in himself and his foes. To see right, his dedication and his passion to be a fighter and to accomplish his, uh, his goal, which is to be uh, a world champion in the UFC. And he's, come, he's close to, to make it the, the dream come true. I think he'll get the belt. You know, I think any great athlete or person in life that was, you know, has achieved a level of success and then, you know, a period of not setback, but a challenge and to where they had to really focus and go back to the drawing board a bit um, I think is is healthy for anyone that's competing not just in the ring or on the mat uh, in life. It seems like Fabricio now has all of the pieces of the puzzle in place. He has gathered his family, his friends, trainers and business close and is in the center of it all working, training and constantly focusing on his goal. The uh, hard part is, is the best. Because the hard part for me is, I, I told you, is before when I don't see my family. This support when I'm, I'm training, she understands everything. I mean, stay uh, all the, um, the time. I mean, stay the training three or four hours for a day, five hours, she understands everything. I think our life is pretty, the life is pretty amazing, but our life is awesome. We are doing very good, yeah. We don't have we are not rich, but we don't need it. You know, we, we, we have everything that we need, and we have love, and we have friendship. So, and he's a nice guy, and he has, for me, the best values, you know, because our values is the first thing that we have to have. So, we are like a family person, and with like strong values, so this is like pretty amazing. Whatever you want to do, whatever he wants to change it, like, let's go, <laughs> let's do it. MHP has established itself as the protein innovator with revolutionary formulations such as Probolic SR, the world's first patented, sustained released muscle feeding protein formula, a pure mass, an advanced super clean size building weight gainer, 
packed with quality calories you need to pack on mass. Isofast Whey Milkshake. Ultra fast absorbing whey protein isolate with the rich milkshake taste. And Power Pack Pudding, the ultimate high protein snack. Go with MHP, the protein innovators.